Good day everybody and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. I have received many requests asking me to build an entire project from scratch. And thanks to Kay who asked me to build an inventory system, I decided to demonstrate the creation of such a system starting right from the beginning. I'm going to build this project on a live domain. Doing so will allow me to demonstrate online database setup and how to get everything ready for PHP Runner. This will be very close to a real life situation and you will also have the opportunity to visit the site to do some testing and observe as we continue to expand and add functionality depending on your future comments and requests. So just before I start, thank you very much Xlinesoft for this outstanding product. Please go and visit xlinesoft.com to obtain your copy. When you registered a domain with a hosting supplier, you should have received the domain name, control panel and FTP details. In rare cases you might not have control panel access, but a PHP My Admin URL instead. I have a domain with control panel access. Like I mentioned, control panel access is dependent on the hosting provider. Most hosting providers these days allow access to the domain control panel. There are four steps to follow. First, we will create a new database. Then, we will create a database user. Then, most important, we will add the new user to the new database. Last, we will specify the user privileges. In case you do not have control panel access, the hosting provider will perform these steps and will then supply you with the database name, user and password. So let's continue and create the database. After you are signed on to the control panel, go to MySQL databases under the database section. Here I will create a new database and call it Inventory. In most cases, the domain prefix is automatically added. Now I'm going to create a new user called Cory. Again, the domain prefix is added. I prefer using the password generator function as it generates strong passwords. It's very important to take note of this password as we will need it in PHP Runner when we connect to this database. Finally, in the section Add User to Database, I select the user and the database and click on Add. On the next screen, select All Privileges and then click on Make Changes. A message appears stating the successful addition of the user to the database. Now we have a database but no tables yet. We are going to start with two tables in this project, stock and movement. I will create the stock table using phpMyAdmin from the control panel and I will create the movement table in PHP Runner later. Now back to the control panel main menu, I click on PHP My Admin from the database section. Select the inventory database and since there are no tables, I will create the stock table. We are going to need four columns, which is the default setting. Type stock, click on go. I now supply the four column names and their types. Part number will stay as type integer. Part name I'm going to change to Varchar 100. Part description will be a medium text. Part stock will also stay as an integer value as it will store the stock count. Part number will be the unique key for this table and I need it to be auto increment. So I click on the AI tick box, I leave everything as is and click go. Now we have a simple table with an auto increment key field 
so click save. I deliberately made a small mistake with this table. It is a bad idea to make the part number auto increment as we are now constrained to the actual part code. But I'm going to leave it like this because I want to demonstrate later on how to correct mistakes like this even after the project is live. Now let's open up PHP Runner and create a new project and call it Inventory. We have a MySQL database so I will double click on that. We are going to connect to the online database so select the tick box connect using PHP. We first will have to upload a special PHP file that enables the software to work with the online database. Click on upload PHP .php. We need to create a new location. So click on new location and supply the domain FTP sign on credentials. These details can be obtained from the hosting provider. The location name I renamed to something more appropriate and I should now be able to browse the online server. I'm not going to create any folders so click OK. Remote website URL needs to change as this is a subdomain but I prefer to leave it blank. Click OK. Now we have a successful FTP connection to the live server. Click Upload. The lock window indicates the successful upload of the phprunner.php file. Click Close. Now we need to supply the server name together with the database username and password to be created in a few moments ago. We supply the server name or IP if you have it. So I change localhost to the online server name. We supply the database user and password. The database port in case it does not default to 3306. And then last the web URL. Click connect. If everything was entered correctly, the database we created would be available in the drop-down for selection. Click Next. Although PHP Runner is installed on my computer, it is now connected to an online database. Now that's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and remember to switch on notifications in case you would like to be notified when the next tutorial is available. Also please leave your comments or questions you may have up to this point. Like always, thanks for watching, till next time.